Okay, uh, do you have one of the old-fashioned toothbrushes, get a little workout, or you got an electric? Are there pros and cons to both, right? I mean, should you throw down the money for an electric? We got Louise Goodman. Uh, she's a retired dental hygienist here this morning to compare hand brushing to electronic toothbrushing. And if you had to, if you had to pick one, which one would you pick? I can't pick just you one. You can't pick just one. No, it's very hard to do that. Yeah. Um, they're both good, and uh -huh. it's a personal preference. Do you like to drive an automatic car or a manual shift? Oh, that's good comparison, okay. right. So let me tell you, a lot of people do buy the battery-powered. Okay. These are actually not battery-powered. These are um, rechargeable. Right, right. Okay, so I do want to tell you, before I get started, there are three kinds of toothbrushes. Okay. There are, of course, your hand toothbrushes. Right. And then you've got your charged your electrical battery charged toothbrushes mm -hmm. and then you actually even have one that takes a I've got one of those a, All right. an a battery okay. like a dear or something this would be the least effective effective okay. one okay right. but what's good about this and the reason I, I brought this along was you're talking a hundred plus you're talking a hundred plus and you're talking ten dollars right, right okay right, right. a lot of people make the investment and then they get their power toothbrush and they turn it on and they don't like the vibration okay okay so that keeps people from actually using it show us a little so, demonstration if you can how do you how should you properly because uh, properly okay. use an electronic toothbrush because is it doing the work for you or do you still have to do the motion no it is doing the work Work for you okay. and if you do the motion what you end up doing is you wear the toothbrush out oh, you're not okay. letting it work I always say it's like cutting um, a log with a power saw okay. and if you what you do you turn the saw on and you let the saw work and it does the work for you you don't go back and forth and back and forth you let the saw go back and forth okay. and you're just guiding it when you use a power toothbrush if you decide you're going to push it around uh -huh. it is not going to work these oh. are designed to do the work for you sort of like a, a a power let's say um food processor right now the, 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 the manual the manual you do the, you do the motion correct yes but Obviously. if you do the motion correctly it's just as effective oh. if you don't do it correctly then you're not going to get the benefit mm -hmm. which one is better i can't tell you yeah. these are wonderful for people who use them correctly these are just as good if you don't if you use it correctly but if you don't then once again you're going to use something that's worn out you see a lot of times now, when you buy like the manuals when that's medium soft hard how do you know which, i mean is which it one? for preference or okay. does one do better no 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 Anytime you use anything stiffer than soft in your mouth, which means mm -hmm. you know anything other than a soft, medium or hard, you're actually not even getting food off of the tooth. You're actually sawing the tooth back and forth. Then the gums recede and you cut into mm. the tooth. So the most important thing that I always tell people, and whether you use a power toothbrush yes. or you use a hand toothbrush, it doesn't make any difference. Teeth are just like dishes. If you don't brush them pop properly, you go to bed without brushing. You wake oh. up in the morning with oh, everything you've eaten yesterday. Oh. You have your eggs and your Skyline chili and your peanut butter and jelly. And so red the wine most and coffee. Ex well, the red wine and coffee is going to stain your that's teeth. That's true. That's you know what I'm saying? Segment. That's another segment. I'll be back yeah. for that. I hope. My producer told me to lick that plate. <laughs> I'm not touching that right there. No, you don't want to. No. You don't want to have this plate. You don't want to eat off of this plate. But in essence, this is what everybody does every night. So if you use your power toothbrush, you use it correctly, you let it do the work. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, I say you turn it on. Whether you use this one, which goes back and forth, or this one. All around all you do is place it on the tooth yeah. count for five seconds go to the next tooth go to the next tooth go to the next tooth continue moving it but you don't push it you're right. just guiding it around the mouth great information Louise we're out of time as oh, always I, I know. know we could do two hours on teeth well at but, least but no it's great information there uh, I'm gonna uh, go to break here but I've heard you sing happy birthday song how, how long should you do it for that that does it that's a two minute to, two minutes depending Got how fast it. you sing okay but the most important thing is you do have to to change the brush heads. This is going to cost more than this. Hey, good stuff. Keep smiling. We're back with a check of your first alert forecast coming up. But don't forget.